Guy Harvey, artist, scientist, angler, diver, conservationist, and family man. Journey with Guy to the world's greatest fishing waters, where every fish, every fight is a window on another world. Where every catch is a portrait from the deep waiting to be painted. Go exploring with Guy in the last wild country under the waves. La Guara, Venezuela remains one of the most consistent locations in the Caribbean to catch billfish. Because of the variety of species available, I have completed a number of expeditions there over many years. On shore, the scenery is dramatic, the people are colorful, energetic and dynamic. I want to get footage of all available species of billfish on this expedition, with the emphasis being on white marlin, so I'll be assisting Dr. John Graves as he completes his three-year study comparing post-release survivability of white marlin caught using J-hooks against those caught on circle hooks. Last season you uh, conducted a survivability study on circle hooks versus J-hooks in the white marlin fishery. What did you find? Well, Guy, we, we were comparing the J-hooks which are used commonly in the fishery with the circle hooks, which more and more people are using. We released 20 animals with pop-up satellite tags that were caught on J-hooks, and seven of those 20 died over the 10 days that the tags were attached. In comparison, on these circle hooks, we tagged 20 animals, and uh, all of them lived for the 10 days. So a huge difference in the survivability based on whether they were caught on a J-hook or on a circle hook. The problem has arisen because of the overfishing of white marlin in the last two or three decades. Where, what is the current status of the white marlin population? Well, right now, the current estimate of the white marlin population is that there's probably 6% of the animals of the virgin population size. So it's been cropped way down by overfishing. We have the Laguara Bank to ourselves this morning, and John is assisted by a good friend, dentist, and angling pro, Dr. Ken Neal, also from Virginia. With few boats in the area, it takes us a while to locate the concentration of billfish. And when they show up, they usually come in packs. Okay, you're still about 10 yards behind you. Okay, it's turned to the left. Coming on in, he's taking a look. All right, he's right behind you now, he's tracking it. And here they come, and all three of us jump into action, ending up with a double hookup. Even though the Venezuelan crew must have been through this scenario a million times, exciting directors from above get your heart racing as the white marlin chases the teaser. Oh, yeah. Doubled up, John. All right. Ah, great stuff, John. That was the least three fish there. Oh, yeah. That's what white marlin fishing in Venezuela is all about. Yeah. Getting covered up. They're fantastic jumpers, you know. Yours did a great display right at the beginning. Oh, it was awesome. Picked him right off the teaser. It is the most exciting way to fish for billfish. Yeah, that's great. And it's great to see some hungry fish. They must be feeding down there on something that we can't see. Because they certainly weren't hungry when they came in the spread. Okay, Ken, would you come and take this rod, please? I'm gonna get my gear ready. Just keep him tight, nice and smooth. Nowadays, one cannot be sure that it is in fact a white marlin, a hatchet marlin, or even a spearfish on the end of your line. With the discovery of a new species of billfish, the round scale spearfish, which looks very similar to a white marlin, I'm paying more attention than ever before. Recent genetic analysis by the Guy Harvey Research Institute in collaboration with John's work concluded that the hatchet marlin and the round scale spearfish are the same species, but it is completely different from the white marlin. With truncated dorsal and anal fins, this fish could be a round scale spearfish or a white marlin, and only the genetic analysis of a fin clip will tell the difference. Fin shape can help in determining some species, but because of the tremendous variety shown in white marlin fin shape, it is not diagnostic. So how do you manage the white marlin resource if you're not sure of the species composition in the first place? Given this discovery, are white marlin actually scarcer than previously considered?
This PSAT will stay on for only 10 days and it will then surface and then transmit the collected information to John's computer.